Hi guys, welcome back to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn method overriding. So let us understand what is it. When the method in the subclass have the same name, same return type and same list of parameters as a method present in the super class. So we can say the method is overridden in the subclass and this process is known as method overriding in Java. So let us understand with the help of a programming example how to implement method overriding so here we have a class vehicle inside it we have a property name that is name let me just add a constructor to set the name of the vehicle and here i will just add a constructor and i will add a method that will display the name of the vehicle that is display information let us move to the class car in the similar way i will add a constructor to set the property value so here we go you can see this is a constructor of super class it is taking two parameters one is from the super class and second one is from the subclass and super method is used to call the constructor of the super class so in the similar way i will add the same method inside the subclass that will display the number of door of a car here right so you will write number of door of a car so here you can see the same method name that is display information is present in subclass and same method is present in the super class so let us move to the main class and here i will create an object of a class car and let us provide some information that is name of the car is Toyota right and number of doors are four now I will call the function that is my car dot display and let's see what will be the output so here you can see the output is number of door is equal four it is not calling the method which is present inside the vehicle class right so why this is the output because the same method is present inside the subclass also when subclass and superclass both have the same method in that case subclass method overrides the superclass and using or with the help of an object of subclass it will always call the version which is defined inside the subclass that that's why it is showing number of door is equal so how to access the method of the super class so here there is a role of super keyword you will use the super dot display function so super keyword always refer to the super class members so now you will save it and you will run it and you will get the output here. here we go you can see the vehicle name is toyota and number of doors are four so this is the second use of super that can use to call the method which is present inside the super class so the concept of method overriding is when the super class and the subclass has the same method name same parameters same signature means everything is same so in that case subclass method override or hides the super class method right so here you will use the super keyword to access the method of the super class okay so i hope you understand the concept of method overriding in the next session we will learn very very important and interesting topic that is dynamic method dispatch or runtime polymorphism that can be achieved through the concept of method overriding so we have done for the day thank you bye bye have a great evening